we did a video. You don't really like the current state of play in the NBA, but I feel like we can get more into that. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what in particular is it that you don't like before we fix it? The softness. Go on. The softness, which is, which is, now, now, it's one thing where you want it to be an offensive league with scoring. That's fine. But it's just the softness with some of these rules and these damn referees. These referees swear that the people there to see them. Ain't nobody come there to see y'all, except the two people you gave your tickets to. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, you think you think everybody up there in that, I, in that I third row balcony? Steve, I like to see when Steve, when he get the close up. No After doubt. that, I go home for real. No doubt. I've seen all I need. I'm like, my man Steve, yeah. Javi. Yeah, yelling down from nosebleed. <laughs> yeah. You don't think they give Steve Javi good tickets to give out? Like if he got. No, they get no. Like they, somebody they on Instagram, he want them. He's like, Ref, out, yeah, refs get good tickets. Steve, sit in the Steve Javi suites, baby. They get good tickets, for sure, because they got fans. They got fans like you. Yeah, they they got two fans. <laughs> so if I make you the commissioner right now today, hmm. what are some changes you make to on the court play? We'll change the league in a minute. What it could be anything you want. You the commissioner. Give me three, five, give no, me 17 changes you Actually, make. actually, just the, the main change I would make, though, honestly, is, for real, for real, all jokes aside, is the actual, um, the gameplay, the way that it's called. Like, you know, they, of course, they still going to do that same bullshit they did when I was playing, give all the superstars calls, which, right. in my I, opinion, I don't think you is an oxymoron. Yeah. Because it's like if you're so great, if you're so dominant, and you could do this and you could do that, then you don't need these motherfuckers to sit up here and call calls for you. Right. We need to help but, Michael Jordan out. Right. Oh yeah, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Oh man, we see that you dunking on motherfuckers' heads every <laughs> night and shit. But we just gonna help you out some more. Like Brian, we see you motherfucking going full steam train down the middle on guys, and you know you running them over. But it looks like a block to me. So <laughs> you know they going. That, that's how they are, though, man. They they got their own little brotherhood, and they stay within each other. But yeah, they are gonna look out for each other. But how, if you the commissioner, what do you do about? It? How do you change? What, well, the, that that would be the the main rule. Just like yo, um, let's rev it up a little bit. Don't all all this ticky tack, touchy foul shit. Yo, no, let's rev it up a little bit. Let it be an actual foul. Like let them play. Yeah, let them play. See, and it's it's crazy. It's crazy, and this. And this is the thing that always got me, because one thing that the referees always used to say is, well, it was his call, I'm following him. Okay. So now, if he's sitting up there letting us play, why are you not letting us play? Right. If you following him, if right. you going off of his lead as far as this for your the game, yeah. yeah, why are you not letting us play? No, let motherfuckers play. Like, go ahead, like, yeah, guys going to get fouled. You know what I'm saying? But they just want want the offense, man. They want the offense. They want the threes. That's, Would you that's what a lot hand, of fans want. Would you eliminate hand checking? Bring back the old hand checking rule? Oh, yeah. I definitely bring back hand checking. I bring back that forearm shiver so then that way cats can't just flow so easily through that paint. You know, yeah, you got to make it some somewhat tougher mm. because right now, look at it. I mean, shit, look at it. It's a gimmick. I told you before, it's a gimmick. You know, you got the good guys. What actually, seriously, honestly, could Giannis say to somebody in English to get <laughs> ejected from a game? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's it's all the storyline shit, man. But if they just let cats play. Some of them they let play in the playoffs. Like if you got the three like, refs, I do think they give them some more leash. They give them a little bit more leeway in the playoffs. But you got three refs out there. One ref, that motherfucker might not call shit the whole first quarter, which is the kind of ref that I want. See because, how the game goes. Yeah, because I'm a fuck you up, and I'm getting fucked up. Right. So if I'm fucking you up and he not calling it, and you fucking me up and he not calling it. By golly, we got us a game. Right. Let's go at it. You prefer that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, let's go at it. But when you sit up there, when they would see motherfuckers blatantly foul me, 
Like, dude, I'm telling you, that's the most weirdest fucking technical foul I got. Everybody think it's when um when the when the motherfucker looked at me and I ain't say nothing and he said whack. Everybody think that's the craziest tech. <laughs> no. That's not the craziest tech I got. What is it? Craziest tech I got. I'm on offense, bro. I'm on offense trying to make my move to the basket. And these two cats come and just wipe me the fuck out. Ain't even trying to block the shot or nothing. Just wipe me the fuck out. All three of us fall on the floor. I get a tech. I'm like, how I get a tech? I'm trying to shoot the ball. And the ref told me the secret. I was like, all right, I got you. I said, what was nah, the I know what it is. Oh, we got the memo that if it's anything between y'all, everyone gets a tech. Thanks for letting me. I knew y'all motherfucking cocksuckers got that memo. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I said, if Rasheed Wallace do some shit, call a foul. No, give him a tech. Mm. Give him a tech. Because that's the, that's the, especially if it's the TV game. Mm. Oh, TV Final game, yeah. Game. Give me a tech to get me out of there so then that way I won't bring the ratings down. You feel like you was bringing the ratings down? That's why, I, yep, I did. It was your fault. And look, it was shame on you, Wallace. It was all my fault. It was everything that that happened in my career with the rest and text. It was all my fault. They were some straight up guys. They were one hundred percent. They and never you did blew nothing, it. Yeah. and I blew it. It was me <laughs> that fucked it up, not them. They didn't cheat me. I'm glad you can finally be honest with yourself. <laughs> After all these years, I'm glad After we all can, this time. I'm glad we could finally <laughs> tell the truth. <laughs> What other change sure. would you make? Um, <sighs> you can change again. You are the you could change any. You could say right. twelve foot rim if you want. No, I think I think with the way that the game is going now and the way it's being played now, shit, they might as well do some um, All Star Weekend shit. Make it make it a four point line or a four point spot, opposing to. Opposed like, all right, we got the three-point arc. Mm. You know, it goes from um, uh, sideline to sideline on that baseline. Mm -hmm. Got three-point arc, hit the corner shots. Well, this one will be four-point spots. Okay. Opposing to an uh, arc being pushed out, what, another five, six feet? Mm -hmm. Put the dots there <clears> on the floor <throat> for the four-point shots. I mean, from the way it's going, that's the only well, other way. I was going to say, but the... Would that improve the game in your eyes? Um, no, it won't improve That's it. That's what I'm trying to make the game it better. It here. won't improve. I mean, I don't know. The only way you can improve the game is if you slack up with the calls and let them play defense. Then you're going to see motherfuckers really get their ass bust. Then you're going to see who really got a skill set because now you ain't got them refs to help you now. You ain't all them ticky tacks. Uh-uh. Like, motherfuckers really going to key up now. All right, let me, let me watch this film a little bit more. All right, he can't go left. Oh, let me take that back. Yeah, he can't go left. I'm locking and you know you more. can game and scheme and force him left without knowing you're going to be Cause, two cause, fouls in the first two minutes. Because that used to be part of our game plan. Like, and, and I know other teams probably had that against me. Yo, give him mm -hmm. a hard foul. Fuck him up in the first Getting couple minutes. Mind, yeah. Getting his head, and we got him. You know, I know that's what they said about me because that's what I said about other players. <laughs> Like, yo, we're going to beat this motherfucker ass tonight. Right. I'm a, I'm, for sure, I'm going to get my first two real quick. But I'm, ugh, ugh, I'm going to murder this motherfucker. And that's how that shit was, yo. That shit was fun. What'd you think about moving the three-point line back? Um, no, I don't think you should move it back. It should stay where it's at. Because moving it back is only going to entice guys to shoot more. And it's already fucking the game up. Like, I was watching last night. Um... Uh, one of my teammates is a is a coach, mm -hmm. and a college coach, and he had a player. At at one point, I saw the kid had 17 points. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, he killing!" I'm like, you know, for college for a first half, I'm mm -hmm. like, "Oh, game, that's yeah. killing you, killing." They showed his stats: five for ten from threes, and two foul shots. I'm like, no. If you're hitting 50% of your threes, you no, should be taking 10 threes. I, I shouldn't. I'm not taking 10 threes in the first half. Mm. You can't. That's not basketball. I don't give a fuck if I'm dead-eyed dick and I'm wide open. It still ain't eating. No. 
not no 10, 10 trays, and, and it was still about three minutes left in the first half when they 10 trays. Well, he might have finished with 13, 14. Oh, no, he finished with more, more three mm -hmm. points. He had more three point attempts than he had two point attempts. And that's a lot of the guys in the NBA. I was going to say, that's the game, though, now. And it's three is more than two, as many are saying. Right. And look, for a while, oh, that's the new thing when Golden State was winning. Oh, everybody liked it. Oh, it's Flash Brothers. Boom, boom, boom. Now, it's a copycat league and everybody else is doing well. All these other motherfuckers don't shoot as good as uh, Steph yeah, and Clay. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So now, but they still hoisting that shit up. You got motherfuckers who shoot. Like, I like the young boy. I, I think he put work in. You know what I'm saying? To become a better player. But, yo, there is no way on God's green earth, if I'm a coach, I'm going to give Siakam a green light to shoot no fucking threes. <laughs> what you say fuck Pascal Siakam for? No, no. I didn't say fuck him. I like him. He's a good player. He's, he's definitely, player. over the years he's been in the league, he's improved. Definitely. But that fucking three-point shot ain't improved. Fam, no, don't shoot that shit. End of the quarter. Other than that, no, do what you've been doing, you know what I'm saying? Mid-range, get down there on the post, get your, get the, the trash tipping buckets from, you know, fast breaks, all that. Mm. Get them. Leave that three-point shot alone. That shit ain't for everybody. But yet, right. what's happening? The coach is listening to the fucking, the motherfuckers upstairs in the uh, video office, the analytics. That's oh, well, we got to get him to shoot this and that. Da -da -da -da. He's a better shooter than Siakam, but I'll be damned. He's the biggest motherfucker in the NBA right now, and Milwaukee is not using him right. Who? Brooke Lopez. What you mean? Yo, I'm putting his big ass down there on the blocks. He can score. He's a pretty good passer. It's hard to double team a motherfucker that's 7 2 and that wide. Well, he also, if you double team and you leaving Dame, you leaving Giannis, so. Oh, I'll leave Giannis. Oh. I'll leave him open. Fuck, what? He's a, a, he's, I'll put him in that game. same thing with Siakam. I will give him that motherfucking shot. If I'm the opponent, the three, okay, yeah, I, I will that, give yeah. him that three point shot shoot. or mid range all fucking day long. I want him to shoot it. I'm going to dare you to shoot that shit because right. I'm going to get in your head. But where he's effective at is. Is of course cutting to the basket. Mm -hmm. So if you got Lopez posting up, yeah, I'm gonna get Giannis cutting to the basket. You know, throw that up there. He gonna go get that shit. And anywhere five feet within that rim, Giannis gonna go get that shit. Mm. But Lopez, the biggest motherfucker out there. Yo, we going off of him. I'm going off of him. Dame, hey, turn five. Cut through, do what you want. Turn five or fifth side five, which is the side pick and roll. Mm. Hey, I'm using him all day, yo. Cause ain't no other big, uh, big man in the that NBA. Big, yeah. That that's big. I feel like, like in the playoffs they kind of let him height, right? But not bulk. Yeah, but not was, bulk. Not like yeah, him. Lopez. Lopez yeah. got some size on him, some weight on him, and just imagine him if he really get mad, and wanted to post up. Who's gonna stop him? Uh, Wamba Wamba ain't gonna stop him, and he's seven two. You know what I'm saying? Like and and my man Chet, I love him to death. Chet can't stop him. He got uh, on Chet. Shit. It's, it's other center cat can't stop him, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going it's going to come back to us though. I'm telling y'all, it's going to come back to us. Watch to the big man. Us big man, it's coming back, baby. It's coming back. And like I said before, shout out to Joker Aaron Gordon for winning it. And I'm glad y'all won it as bigs to beat the shit out them little motherfuckers. Even though Bam was my guy, he needed another seven footer by his side to be able to compete. But Miami was too little. I mean, little. Porter Jr. too. He's a big guy. Yeah, he, he's 6'9", six, a six, tall ten. guy, I should say. As but, well. but he got fresh legs. That's, you know, shit, he ain't played ball in, since, like, like fresh legs back, sophomore back. year in yeah. high school. The, he's working his way. Yeah. Back. Yeah. I mean, he champ shit. Say, he look, I know he like, man, y'all say what y'all want to say about me, but we won that shit. He got the ring and the contract. True. That boy is very living true. a good life.